welcome back to my channel yes coconut oil y'all definitely stops your stress marks from progressing going all out making tracks all over your body not even joking and unfortunately I did the research before I started this video you cannot make your previous stretch marks go away sadly I'm upset too trust me but I mean over time they do get a little lighter and um but I mean it's it's natural gaining weight losing weight going through your teenage years because I've had some from high school and I was never even huge they, they were just there but then pregnancy ones y'all <laughs> like they're honestly creepy before I um, started getting stretch marks I was terrified like getting nightmares like yo I do not want stretch marks at all they literally came in my last month nine months I started my ninth month I saw like three dots just three like this <laughs> just splat on my hip I was like um excuse me mind you I have been moisturizing my skin like crazy because Cetaphil was lit like it actually worked with moisturizing my skin and not making it feel ashy but I guess it just wasn't going to um, work with the with the stretch marks so I went to the doctor and was like hey what's going on I see three dots on my hips and then my doctor was like well now you got stretch marks coming in that's exciting I was like yo <laughs> get shorty like honestly she got to go somewhere but um pretty much over time those three dark dots started progressing into a little more like just more you know stretch marks and so i decided to get some coconut oil so i got it and what i did was i would shower take a nice really hot shower but not too hot because remember your baby cannot be in a really hot temperature and for any anyone else who's regular normal not pregnant do whatever you got to do get hot and steamy in that shower <laughs> but i would stay in the shower stay in the bathroom after my shower and um close the door lock out the humidity and moisture in the air so pretty much it's a foggy setting you know and um i'll put my lotion on in there so since it's foggy your pores are open your even your hair follicles are open so it's even good to apply hair grease at that time too so all my natural girls slapping some grease some oil straight out the shower fresh out the shower so then you can like lock in some moisture in your hair but as for my skin i would start off with some coconut oil on my hips and just go all out like i literally hop out the bathroom looking like literally like i'm dipped in honey <laughs> not even joking i put a lot of oil on I'll pretty much start in from the hips because that's why I have it excuse me that's why I have it the most or just on my hips and I noticed that over time I've been doing this for the month it would still go in because you know I'm still stretching out it's inevitable I'm growing I'm gaining weight I'm having a baby for goodness sakes so it's stretching out my skin still but it, would, it got lighter actually blending on my skin tone so I was like oh it kind of just makes it so it's not too dark and it clears it up a little along the way and I actually noticed this morning that just shining on the light that I had some kind of like on the bottom of my belly but they were like it blended in with my skin tone so you know it's inevitable but it definitely lightened it up you know it just it made sure that the marks didn't literally spread through my tummy just black and scratchy like tiger marks I just Thank God that didn't happen. And one thing I noticed with me is that I only got on my hips only because I sleep on my right side the most. So my left side is just all out, going ham over there with the stretch marks. But my right side, it's like really small. Like you can hardly even notice anything there. And that's only because I sleep on my right side more. So my left side is stressed out and it's stretching out over here along my side. So that's what the problem was. And I mean, with that being said, it's like, well, what is a girl to do? I mean, I can't sleep on my left side because then this side's going to grow even more. So I'm just like, you know what? <laughs> I'm just going to do what Haitians do. Like, 
I can't. There's nothing else I can do. It's going to come in. It's just, it is what it is. And with these stretch marks, I just honestly became really selfish. So I'm like, yo, shorter really got me through going stretch marks. I'm about to be 24. I ain't got time for this, <laughs> you know. But it's whatever. My husband loves me. He still think I'm cute. He better because this is going to stay regardless. But anyways, I'm really excited for her to come. But y'all, get yourself some coconut oil. Any brand is fine. Mine is just a vegan brand. I got this in the cooking oil aisle. The sun is wilding today. Hold on. There we go. I got this in the cooking oil aisle. It's refined, all natural. This is actually a vegan brand called Simple Truth Organic. And this is, you don't have to get this specific brand. Just make sure it's natural. And um, just moisturize yourself and drink a lot of water. Lots. But like I said, y'all, if you're pregnant, they coming in, y'all. <laughs> like, I'm just letting you know. I'm letting y'all know. And y'all, I'm going to work my butt off to get my body back. I mean, I hardly even gain much. It's all in the belly, honestly. But your girl's going to snap right back. But that's all for today. Get yourself some coconut oil. This definitely stops it from progressing and it lightens it up along the way so it doesn't get that those harsh tiger marks. Coconut oil is it. Castor oil also works as well. But I heard that that actually induces labor. So if you're pregnant, don't touch the castor oil. Um, if you're overdue, slap it on. <laughs> but if you're not pregnant castor oil works as well and I also heard of this new aloe vera thing so I'm definitely going to start that too to see if that works but um like and subscribe for more videos and stay tuned I'll see you guys next time bye